Just a few pictures. That would be my dew chamber. It's about two meters long, 1.8 meter high. Uh, it's got two water baths in the bottom, which I run at 40 degrees Celsius. They create steam. The steam condensates on the sides of these um, of, the, of the sheeting, and, it, and it, you get droplet formation on the leaves. That's how I started. I think this picture was taken in 1980. Very time consuming, but it works. Each and every pot's covered by a plastic bag. Then you have the ultrasonic humidifiers. They're also fairly inexpensive. Work very well. This is the CDL system. They have a large cabinet, and then there are three different humidifiers feeding into that cabinet. And they're all on time switches, so you can say they should come on for 30 seconds or a minute every hour just to maintain the humidity. This is a plastic hood uh, for incubating adult wheat plants in, inoculated with stripe rust. And we put the entire system in a cold room where they will be or where it, which runs at about 11 degrees Celsius. You can just put a glass hood over it if you have only one or two pots to do, also in the cold room. And I also use that system. It's a very efficient system. It's simple. I put the, uh, for stripe rust, I put some hot water in the bottom. I have a grid so that they won't interfere with the pots or the roots of the, of the plants. I close it up. I don't miss them at all. I just close the lid and leave it inside for 24 hours. But these are small nuances and small things you have to, I think, through trial and error, determine which ones work best for your own system. And that's what it looks like in the end. You can see the very fine dew developing on the leaves, no, no excessive runoff, and uh, an excellent environment for rust, path rust pathogens to infect. Now, after um, inoculation, uh, we need a dry-off area. Oh, well, first of all, before we put them in the dew chamber, we want to ev evaporate the oil or dry off the oil. If you use that system, of course, if you use dusting with talcum powder and spores, you don't need to dry them up. You can put them into the dew chamber immediately. Um, and we also have to acclimatize them after moving them from the chamber because the young infection sites and the leaves are very soft from the incubation period, and we need to just slowly get them back to, to a stage where we can transport them to a greenhouse or put them in the environment where they will be evaluated. We need single to make single pustule isolates if we have mixtures from the field. So you also need a, a system where you can put your pots with single pustule isolates in, in different compartments, or you can use the, uh, the soft drink bottles or the water bottle system that we demonstrated yesterday. You will cut your seedling leaf to just expose one, one pustule, you will collect that the spores from that particular pustule inoculate a plant. And I prefer the two liter size bottles because they're bigger. You can have more better plant development inside them. And this is just simple pipe, plastic pipe that use in plumbing systems that we can just modify and then create a nice little uh, isolated chamber where we can grow many single pustule isolates in one, in one room. And then if you don't want to use the the, the covered system, you can just use smaller compartments in the greenhouse. Some will have plastic or perspex covering in front, so you don't have spore movement from one to the other. 